is not the sound you want your lug nuts to make when you're removing them. All of these are way over torqued. The threads are stretched. They're fighting. Hey, it sparked too. Yeah, they're heavy and they go for distance. Yeah, Definitely need to get the studs replaced here. They're all, you can see they're all thinner where the lug nuts used to be. We found the air leak behind the leveling now there. Oh, I can get a video over here, but I can see inside the radius rod bushing the rubber there's a gap, so it's been moving. It needs to be replaced. He's getting a bang bang. Farm back. Okay, we're just checking for air leaks here and seeing how severe they are. Your air gauge right now, we're reading about just under 90. Is that correct? About what, yes, about 87? Yep. And we're gonna watch it for about 60 seconds and see how far it comes down. But we know it's, it's not a whole lot of PSI leak because it was 87 at least a minute ago when we checked it. But we wanna just confirm that. So that's pretty good. So it's been 30 seconds and I haven't even seen it move one PSI. So all the air leaks that you have combined back there are very minuscule. Go ahead and step on the brake pedal and hold it down. That's what we wanted to see. It was just a small, moderate loss of air. As you hold it down, again, we want to see less than like three PSI a minute leak. Your brake system's pretty tight. A lot of them would come in here, they step on it like that and it leaks all over the place. So. That's a good sign. Um, go ahead and release your parking brake. So we're definitely seeing a leak. What we saw, it, when, you, when you use the brakes, it dropped down a little bit, but it hasn't lost any more than that. And go ahead and release the parking brake or the service brake. And go ahead and set your parking brake. Everything looked good. That one wasn't hard to find. I had a problem with the tag losing air and I found the air leak on the selector valve to inflate the tag is leaking there. Looks pretty tight. Higher up. Oh, that's the check port for the tags. tag pressure. Yeah. Got a couple leaks on the tag there. On this uh, manifold, we can see the exhaust leak there, and then if you look down in the crack. There's no gasket anymore. You can see the gasket come along and then it just disappears. You can see right into, it's, it's rusted out and blown out. So there's no gasket in there on that. So it's, it's a new exhaust hole, man, exhaust manifold gasket. And on this side, you can see a pretty good leak here. 
come up around this clamp, it appears. You can tell here on the video, but that lug stud is bent, the inner stud is actually bent and at an angle. It comes kind of in and down. So it's this way of what it should be. Yeah, it's not, it's not square in the hole. This one looks like it's a little bit too, maybe? Actually, the one above it looks the same too. Yeah. It tips in. I guess we'll know more when I get the wheel off. Yeah, I'm curious if any of them are broken in there. Another air leak there on this front airbag. At least they're all. That valve has an air leak right there. It's, it's a pull chain, but there's no chain attached to it. No oil. Uh, let's see, which way am I going? Yeah, but the other side was good. Recording already? Yeah, I think so. Okay, go. These are just so worn out. You can see the daylight back there. They're not, and they're very thin. I have a leaky wheel seal going on here, so we'll get this all fixed up. I'm going to pull the hub. Check it out. So this tag axle, you can see how much clearance there is there on the bushing for it. And then at the bottom, there's like a mile and the seal's falling out. It's completely worn and shot. So we're going to place those bushings inside of there. I'm just going to try and tighten that fitting and see if we can get it to... It's pretty snug already. Yeah. Grab the flank drive wrench, or let's put a line wrench. Want me to hold the light? That angle ain't gonna work. No. It's not gonna work at all. Mm -hmm. So we have a crow's foot line wrench, we're gonna have to go to that. Quarter of a turn before it snaps off. <laughs> What's the exact torque spec on that? <laughs> I wouldn't push it any farther than that right now. Let's see if it's still leaking or not. So go ahead and spray it down. Keep doing it. That is about to fall off of this damn bus. <laughs> wow. So not only is that shot. Hang on. Yep, keep doing that. Yeah, you can see the brake drum moving and of course the, the bearings are loose. This is just a disaster. It was just maybe, maybe the vibration of this beat the shit out of that. How do you like that? <laughs> oh my god. I was wondering why the Stemco cap looks like it's been melted in there. And there was a previous failure, obviously. 
And that's why there's so much play there. There's a four thousandth shin going in uh, underneath the bearing. This is a six thou, eight thou, and it's going in beyond the eight. Eight to ten thousandths. It's going in all the way around. Getting video of it, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Jesus, it's worse. on your face. I'm only stopping because I'm hitting the floor at the pry bar. Jack it up more. I need a board. That's crazy. You want to wash the bearing now? Yeah. Too. This would help if I didn't have so much grease on my lens. Do it again. Wow. We got a sparkly one here. And I see a bunch of rust. See what we get into. The wear marks on that bearing. That's not shadow. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting close. It's stuck on the spindle too. <laughs> Some very weird wear marks on the bearing that is stuck on the spindle. See if we can get it off of here. We've been working really hard on the building and any spare time that we get. I think I'm going to go back to posting videos like daily, just updates from what got done that day. And so I've been trying to do every bus as a project, which most of them take a week or two weeks. But then the amount of editing that's involved, when I have a week or two weeks worth of footage to put together, it's so much more of a hassle for me to get to. I have four projects that we've done uh, that I just haven't even edited yet. So I think I'm gonna get back to doing these just like what you just watched today, uh, just you know, a, a day or two's work, this is two days work, and then I'll post, and, and you can follow along with the projects as we go. It's so much easier for me to just spend you know 30 minutes editing at the end of a day versus hours do, trying to go through footage from weeks worth of stuff. It's just too hard. So hopefully you'll appreciate that. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. At the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. 
They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain, we're gonna get that big job done. 